Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for the week of July 6th through the 12th, okay? This is going to be you and the other person. So what I want you to do is think about another person, okay? And we're just going to see what comes up. Remember that not every reading is for you. I still get comments from people that get offended. If the reading doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate with you. Okay, and if you get offended, you're triggered. You're triggered, and you're triggered for a reason. If you get offended, there is something that triggered you that uh, set you off, and it really resonated, and you may not want to own up to it. Okay, so let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Aries for the week of July 6th through the 12th? for them and the other person. Now you're thinking about somebody right now, okay? You're probably thinking about a couple different people. That happens a lot. We're just gonna see which one is most dominant in your energy. This right here is the overall uh, connection or resolution or where you're at right now, the 10 of wands. The 10 of wands is overwhelmed, carrying a huge burden, uh, having a huge, uh, load carrying a heavy load i feel as though you've reached the point where this is too much you gotta let it go you gotta let it go it's like this i mean that is the overall connection between you and the other person or, or within yourself okay the ten of wands is overwhelmed trying to do too much um you may be trying to prove yourself uh Definitely uh, working hard, maybe focusing too much on work. Um, now this side is you. All right, so you right here is Ace of Pentacles. Now this is an this is a golden opportunity. Okay, you have a golden opportunity to, to manifest something solid or build something solid. Or you're going to be given an opportunity, a really good opportunity. Because the Ace of Pentacles is a, is a great opportunity that you can take to the bank. Okay, this is something stable. It's something solid. It's something real. Okay, but this Four of Swords is, is some sort of illness. And with the Ten of Wands... You're, you know, this is climbing up. You may be climbing up a ladder, okay? But you've been in a state of, of solitude or depression or illness. This is definitely overwhelmed trying to do too much. You may need to take a break. Um, you're probably, I think a lot of you have been working too hard, okay? You've been working too hard. You've been pushing it by the looks of things. I feel like... Uh, this is, I mean, the Four of Swords could be the, you know, this is illness. It is. It's, it's needing to take a break, okay? You're, you're overextending yourself. That's what it looks like to me. And maybe you're overextending yourself because of money, okay? You're trying to make money, you know? So you're, you're just working, 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 trying to recover money or something. It has something to do with money, okay? Um, now, that is climbing out climbing up climbing up the ladder you're working to climb up the ladder right that's what you're focused on right now that's probably impacting your relationship and it's probably impacting your health okay because this is poor health it is it is i feel like your health is is not where it needs to be because you're doing too much you're trying to do too much you have so many demands you can you can drop some of them you don't need to do all of those things all at the same time you know you can drop some of these demands drop some of these responsibilities and take a break so i feel like right now you're really, maybe you're really focused on your money you're focused on your home um you're focused on your stability, you know? I don't see anything about a relationship here. We're talking about you and another person. If you're not really focused on a relationship, then you probably don't have a very good relationship, okay? Or you don't have a relationship at all if you're trying to climb the ladder. So I feel like right now you're really, really, really focused on climbing the ladder. And you're going to be climbing the ladder because you're, you're really uh, determined to prove yourself. That's what it looks like to me. So, what do we got about the other person? Let me just push this back a little bit. Nine of Cups. This person is very relaxed, whoever you're with. 
very much uh, has it all. This person may be a little arrogant, very lazy. You may be dealing with somebody who does a lot of reading, sits on their butt, doesn't do much. I'm just telling you what I see with the card. This person, um, I feel like this person maybe has light colored hair, maybe white hair, blonde hair, gray hair. Um, your fo this whoever you're dealing with, and it doesn't have to be okay. I'm just that's what I see on this card. Uh, could be salt and pepper. Um, doesn't it could be anybody. Uh, this person um, is very comfortable. They don't do much. They 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 like to have it done for them. Whoever you're thinking about likes to have the the stuff done for them. Okay. Nine of Wands. Um, one more card for the other person, please. And temptation. So devil, addictions, uh, materialism. And this would signify materialism as well. You may be dealing with somebody that is very materialistic. And you're trying to provide for them or something like that. And this could be a mother. It doesn't have to be. It could be a grandmother. It could be a sister. It could be a wife. Um, it could be anybody. Okay. The, whoever you're dealing with, I think that um, they are, they're expecting trouble from you. This is somebody that is, is, is challenging to deal with. Whoever you're dealing with is, is very challenging to deal with. They um, are always on guard. They're always on a defensive. They're looking to, you know, build a fortress and they're probably looking for you to build it for them or to reap some of the benefits of your hard work. You are definitely the worker here and this person is more uh, laid back. This person um, obviously has already been through some sort of wounding in their life. Now they're just wanting to sit back and not do anything. They would like you to just do all the work and they may be really stressing you out. Okay. This person may be stressing you out. They may uh, I think they are stressing you out. I think you're dealing with a person that is, is very challenging to you. They may use victim mentality to get you to work harder, you know, to, to make you think that, that you need to, to do this and you need and that they don't need to or something. I've, I've done all this my whole life, you know, that kind of thing. Um, this this uh, devil card is addictions. All is not as it seems. Okay, devil is ruled by the shadow. Whoever you are dealing with, is a greedy okay the devil is greedy they're all selfish very very and it feels like this is the same arrogant selfish you're dealing with somebody i'm sorry but that's what i see you got somebody around you that is very selfish very uh focused on getting their own gratification and uh selfishness i just want to say selfishness now the devil, you're tied. Now this person, I mean the devil, um, is tied to a situation, tied to a toxic, unhealthy situation. You may be tied to somebody that is toxic and unhealthy. This is forceful. Okay, you may be. This person is very forceful. Um, they have a big ego. This is a card of ego, and this is a card of ego. You're dealing with somebody who has a big ego. This person is is expecting trouble. They're expecting trouble from something. They're on guard. Whoever you're dealing with is trying to. If almost feel like, but I just want to say, pull the wool over your eyes, because the devil does pull the wool over your eyes. That's what the devil does. So you're, this is a demon, okay? I'm just being honest with you, the devil is not a good card, and I'm sure you can find a reader to tell you it is, but it ain't. Okay, this is a toxic, unhealthy situation. You are dealing with somebody that has some sort of ulterior motives. Okay? I think this person is lazy and selfish. They're they're wanting everything their way. It's like they want their own they want their own gratification. And they're willing to do whatever it takes to get it. And they're pulling the wool over your eyes in some way. Four of Cups reversed. Now, seeing an opportunity. So, they're seeing an opportunity to... And it feels like they... To deceive you. You know what I mean? What the hell? Because this is deception. It really is. Who the hell are you dealing with? They may... The Four of Cups reversed is... 
looking forward now, seizing an opportunity, the end of stagnation. They're interested in what you can give them. All right, we have the Knight of Cups here. So uh, clarifying the Ten of Wands, overwhelmed about a relationship. Overwhelmed, you're overwhelmed about a relationship, or they are. They may be sit, trying to woo you over. Somebody may be saying all kinds of things. I mean, the Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups is very uh, is a smooth, smooth, smooth talker. This is this is secretive. There's secrets. There's secretive here. But the Knight of Cups is an offer of love. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed by a relationship. This is an overwhelming relationship. It is. Burdened by a relationship. Hmm. Something is going on. Somebody, this person isn't telling the truth. Somebody's lying to you. They're being dishonest. Whoever you are dealing with is being dishonest about their true feelings. I'm telling you what. This person is very cunning. The devil is very cunning and clever. Very manipulative. A master uh, manipulator. Okay, the devil is master manipulation. This is a very, you're dealing with a very greedy, selfish individual who thinks that you are naive. <laughs> oh God, the nine of wands. I think you need to protect yourself from this person. This person wants soul ownership, wants you to take care of them. Okay, they don't want to take care of themselves. They want you to take care of them. This is dishonesty. Whoever you are, you are, you are holding on to a dishonest person that doesn't tell you the truth. Very secretive, like I said. You're working on climbing the ladder. You're doing everything you can, exhausting yourself. There's exhaustion here. Look at that. King of Pentacles came out. And it came out reversed. I was going to put one over here on your side. So really, really focused, right? You're focused on, on building up your home. You're focused on building up your stability. And that's all you've been focused on. So you can't see. You you see your your love is your money. Your see the love right here is focused it's it's looking over here. You've been focusing on your home, you've been focusing on your job, you've been focusing on your money, exhausting yourself who and you haven't been seeing cuz you're looking at building up your stability that you've been working on your home whatever you haven't been seeing that whoever you're dealing with is a master manipulator and they aren't telling you the truth. You can't see it. You can't see it. This person, is, it's almost like they're pretending. They're pretending. This person sees that you are wounded. They may see that you're wounded. They may see that you're naive. They may see that you're weak. Oh my God. Ah, Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Keeping, that's trapped. Mental turmoil. They're, they've got you all tied up. Whoever you're dealing with has you not seen. They even got a blindfold on you. They have brainwashed you. Whoever you are dealing with has brainwashed you. You got a blindfold on. It's underneath. It's on their side. Okay. They've got you all tied up. They've got you in a state of confusion, thinking that you're in a good place when you're not in a good place. I'm telling you what. I'm telling you what. You are dealing with somebody that is a liar. This is lies. They've got you brainwashed. And I think, and, and they've got you so you can, you're not seeing clearly. Whoever you're dealing with is very satisfied with, with uh, how they've uh, pulled the wool over your eyes. And I think that you think this is some sort of good relationship. It's not a good relationship. This is baggage. This is a burden. You need to drop it. You need to drop this relationship because it's one-sided. It is one-sided. I'm just being honest with you. I'm sorry, but that is exactly what I see. I feel like there's there's greed here. There's materialism. There's... Uh, 
all is not as it seems. You are dealing with a master manipulator who has complete control over you and you are allowing it. I do feel like this week you are going to be uh, continuing to focus. You're going to be continuing to climb out of the hole. You've been in some sort of hole. You're climbing out of the hole. You're climbing up the ladder. You are... Um, this is exhausted. This is to the both of these cards are totally exhausted. Um, that King of Pentacles reverse is unstable. You may be losing your ground. You may be losing your ground. Um, Page of Wands reversed. So that is losing the ambition. Bad news. A setback. Okay, the Page of Wands is. Um, Unwelcome news is coming soon. Some sort of unwelcome news is coming for you. You know, you gotta slow down. You could, you're, you could end up. I mean, this is sickness. It is, and this is losing drive. Uh, and this could be sickness as well. Poor health, overwhelmed. I think that you working so hard is going to affect your health. You need to take a break. And I think that you need to tell this person because this is you need to tell this person this is bad news. It is. This is unwelcome news and giving a message, you know, that isn't it isn't an easy message, it's not a good message, you know, that you know, you want love or something. You want to focus on a relationship. The Knight of Cups is about looking for love, looking for tender loving care, looking for a relationship. So bad news in regards to a relationship. Somebody's gonna receive some bad news. This is unwelcome news. Failure to launch. Oh my God. This is a oh my God situation. It is. It's like this is very stressful. This is regrets. For not seeing. For not taking action. There's some sort of regrets here. There's sadness. There's strife. There's... Uh, I can't believe that I can't believe that I didn't see because this is a vision. So I can't believe that I didn't see. So I feel like this week that this, this is going down. This is going something may go down. Hmm. That that uh, this is a stressful situation right here. This is a, oh my god! I can't believe it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I didn't see. I didn't see, I didn't see, I didn't see. Okay, you're about to see. Oh my God, King of Wands on in reverse on the bottom. That's lack of vision. Something's going to make you angry by the end of this week. So yeah, this is, this is uh, giving up on something with this as well. fire going out, putting the fire out, no desire, going south. I feel as though there, there may be, uh, this is out of your control. Somebody could get angry. There could be an angry, angry situation where uh, somebody decides to, and this is a very impulsive energy to I can't do this anymore. Why is this happening? That's what this is. Why is this happening? Somebody may end up there could be some sort of addictions that get somebody in trouble. Just saying. Because that's that's like handcuffs. Somebody could end up in handcuffs. There could be an angry outburst that leaves puts somebody in handcuffs. So anyway, I feel like this is going to be a very interesting week for you. Somebody's going to be taking a ride. They're going to be taking a journey. They're going to be going someplace else. Um, there's been a lack of vision, but I think you're about to see something that makes you... Uh, it feels like retreat from this person. 
It feels like you're going to climb away from this person. It feels like you're going to go down a new path with that Ace of Pentacles. I just feel as though you're in that chariot as well. I think that you're going to leave this person behind. Or you're going to tell them to go. And you don't want to be trapped in this situation anymore. This toxic, unhealthy situation that was based on materialism or ego. You're definitely dealing with a very egotistical, power-hungry person who has completely controlled you and you have allowed it. Anyhow, I think that you're going to realize, and I think you've been failed to realize. This You have. You failed to realize. You are holding on to a situation that uh, was unhealthy, okay? But I feel like this week, you and you may still be holding on to it. You may, because this is still lack of clarity, but feeling really stressed out over it. This week, I think that you're you're probably, you know, I don't I don't quite see you releasing it, unless this Four of Cups could be releasing it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to let go. I'm ready to focus on the future. That could be the only card, okay? Because this is this is like. Whoever you're dealing with, that, but this is their side, right? Whoever you are dealing with is very greedy. Very, very, very greedy. They're only interested in what they can get from you, put it that way. And they got you thinking that this is how it's supposed to be. Anyway, Aries, I feel as though... Uh, you need to take a break. You need to relax. You need to uh, drop some of the responsibilities that you are taking on. Uh, you need to really defend yourself. Okay, you're going to need to, because Seven of Wands is about defending yourself from an individual that doesn't have good intentions from you, for you. Okay, I feel as though it is a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be a Capricorn. It could be... I feel like it's this person right here. It's the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Um, I feel like it's that person right there. And right here, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's what I think it is. I don't think it's these two people. I don't. I think it's... A, I, th I mean, it could be, but I don't think it is. Um, good luck. Could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody that is unreasonable, unrealistic, self-centered, conceited, controlling, uh, greedy. Whoever you're dealing with is greedy. Very, 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 very greedy. And they only care about themselves. And you haven't been seeing it. Good luck.